Samsung might finally be breaking the cycle. For years, the Ultra line has delivered incremental upgrades, some useful, others barely noticeable. But now, fresh leaks about the Galaxy S26 Ultra suggest a turning point is near. Fans have long asked for faster charging, stronger low-light performance, and smarter mobile payment convenience. This time, Samsung seems ready to deliver, not just with numbers on a spec sheet, but with real-world improvements. According to Tipster Ice Universe, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, with its 5,000 mAh battery, can hit 75 to 80% charge in just 30 minutes using the new 60 watt speed. Digging deeper, Ice Universe claims Samsung's official numbers may be conservative. In real world tests, the S26 Ultra reportedly gets close to 90% in that same time. Still, Samsung hasn't revealed the full charge time, which remains a key detail. When compared to rivals like OnePlus, Samsung may still be behind. While the gap is closing, there's more work ahead if they want to dominate the fast charging race. Where Samsung could take the lead is in the camera department, specifically low light photography. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to reuse the 200 megapixel ISOC ELLHP2 sensor from the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but this time it comes with a much improved f/1.4 aperture. In simple terms, more light reaches the sensor, delivering brighter, sharper, and cleaner images, especially in dark settings. According to Ice Universe, users can expect less noise, fewer smears, and better detail in a variety of lighting conditions. This isn't just about numbers. It's a meaningful upgrade in real-world camera performance, an area where Samsung has often lagged behind some rivals. That's not all. Other leaks point to a new 3X telephoto lens, promising sharper zoom and better portrait shots. The S26 Ultra is also rumored to be lighter and thinner, making it more comfortable to hold and easier to use one-handed, especially for such a large device. Then there's an overlooked but welcome quality of life improvement. According to ET News, Samsung is adding a second NFC antenna to the S26 Ultra, this time at the top of the phone. Why is this important? Current Galaxy models place the NFC coil near the rear camera forcing users to twist or reposition the phone awkwardly at payment terminals, and sometimes transactions still fail. With dual antennas, Samsung Wallet becomes much more reliable, allowing taps from either end of the device and improving compatibility at checkout counters, ticket gates, and public transport scanners. Interestingly, this design reportedly took longer to develop due to Apple's NFC placement patents, which Samsung had to carefully navigate, but the end result is worth it smoother payments and fewer failed attempts, a subtle upgrade that could make a huge difference day to day. So what's the big picture? With about six months to go before launch, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a serious contender. From faster charging and smarter design to true low light camera gains and AI powered software, this isn't just the usual year over year refresh. It's Samsung's clearest move in years toward creating a flagship that feels ultra in every way. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. A massive Galaxy S26 leak just dropped. Samsung is flipping the script for its 2026 flagship lineup, and we just got the juiciest battery leak yet. New names, new strategy, and yes, real power upgrades, but only for some. The Galaxy S26 Plus is gone, replaced by a sleeker, more refined Galaxy S26 Edge, while the base model transforms into the Galaxy S26 Pro, a name that sets the tone for what's coming. Now here's the bombshell. Samsung is finally upgrading battery capacities across the board, except for the Ultra. According to a report from ever-reliable Galaxy Club, Samsung is inching forward with the S26 Pro, now rumored to pack a 4,300 mAh battery, a solid bump from 4,000 mAh in the S25. The new S26 Edge, 4,200 mAh, up from 3,900 mAh. While rivals in China push past the 6,000 mAh mark with cutting-edge silicon carbon tech, Samsung's magic here is not just bigger, it's smarter. Reports say they're using next-gen materials that allow a thinner frame and a larger battery. That's a serious engineering flex. But if you're eyeing the Galaxy S26 Ultra, brace yourself, same 5,000 mAh battery. The only consolation? A massive charging boost, finally moving to 60 watt wired charging, a leak we've waited years for. Samsung may lean on AI to improve battery efficiency,
but real innovations like silicon carbon might not arrive until the Galaxy S27 era. So yes, this isn't just a refresh. The Galaxy S26 family is getting real upgrades, bold changes, and a powerful new direction. But ultra fans, you might feel just a little left behind. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12 megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFSS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFSS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.